what's going on guys, this is Aaron over for TV. Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, episode 4, last episode. We made it here to the Dueling Peak Stables. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, you ghost. <laughs> um, and uh, we did a lot of exploration. So, this episode, we'll hopefully be able to make it to uh, Kakarot Village, to where input is. But first off, we got a couple of things to do. First off, um, thanks to Zach, thanks to the doggo, we were able to get a new, we were able to get a treasure chest full of 100 rupees. So let's talk to these guys again. So he needs 100 rupees. So let's just let's just do it. Let's just give him it. Fine. Heh, <laughs> good deal. Way to go, Dak, you did it! The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river's source. Miss Go hid the location of the treasure in some kind of strange secret code. I just I heard this from a former dog walker from one of Miss Go's underlings, the Sandin's neighbors. I saw the leaders any. <laughs> There's no way someone with good insight like that. Exactly what I expect from you, Dak. <laughs> Misko, the Great Bandit. Hmm. So, I don't really know. We won't really be able to do that for a while, maybe. I'd rather do some of these side quests for later. But first off, we have a shrine. Let's get, let's go and do it. Plus, this is going to be a nice way to recover some HP. Technically for free. Also, I might want to mix some elixirs this episode. Now that we know about them. So, let's do it. So, we have... Water Guides. Well... Considering... We just, uh, the way we got here was through Kryonis. Oh, we can do it on waterfalls too? There we go. Nice. Nice and easy. Okay, and what the hell is this? Oh. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear God. Oh, I can do it from over here? Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, so I need to somehow get that ball to there. So what if I just stopped it? Good job. <laughs> what if I just stopped it? Oh. Oh, okay, wait. We still need to add one more little platform. And we did it! Nice and easy. And? It opens! Awesome! Whoa, so there's your solution. Well, that's one solution. Are there any treasures? Sometimes there usually is a secret treasure here, but it doesn't really look like there is one. Unless I'm wrong. I could very well be wrong. Hold on, let's backtrack a bit. Aha! There is! I was wondering! I was like... I was wondering. Okay, hold on. We need to make a little like staircase here for ourselves. Or yeah, hold on. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> 
zero OP, 50 rupees. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Let's go. Clear the shrine and heal up. Good grief. Uh, all right. So we finish this shrine now. Let's see what the uh, the person had to say. He was talking about him being the second like best horse team or something. So let's go do it. Let's go see what he has to say. Oh, the spikes cleared. Nice. All right, let's go check it out. Mm. Hi, Beetle. <laughs> Hi. Man, so sorry, are you ready to start? Or did you need something else entirely? Oh. It's the spirit. The only rule is that you must bring your wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. This area is chock full of wild horses. Any one of them will do. My record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring back a wild horse within that time. What? I'm gonna bring back a wild horse in two minutes. Okay, so we have to we have to just sneak up upon them. We gotta sneak up on them stealthily. Are you serious? We're getting attacked by enemies. Okay, now okay, I actually just dodged them. To sneak up on them, the 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 ones with spots are easier to tame. So I'll sneak up on this one. Are you kidding me? I don't care. I don't care. There we go. Come on, go left. We need to go when you go. Oh. Amazing! I can't believe you beat my two minute record so easily. I mean, I want second place in the high level horse saving competition. To be fair, it was my it was just my brother and I competing. Anyway, here's the prize for winning the second official high level horse taming competition. You earned it. The day rupees. I guess there's more competition out there than I knew about. Maybe high level isn't all bad after all. Oh! We just got our first horse. Let's register this horse, I guess. Yep. Two stars all around and gentle temperament. Not a problem. Credit registration fee also gives you a locally made saddle and bridle. Be sure to uh, What I'm thinking about at the moment and what it kind of makes me think of. Actually, no. She looks more like a caramel to me, so sure. Can I spell? Nope. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Ah. But it's but his face is like white. Hmm. Hmm. What should I give it? What should I give for name? You know what? It's good. Coffee. Because <laughs> the white is like the cream with cream on top, and then sure, why not? Uh, let's for right now. 
Hmm. And by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come on all your, on your horse or other companion to you. Yeah. But your horse is magic, can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Cool, we got our horse. Also, I got bombarded by enemies. <laughs> okay. So the way to Epa is this way. Uh, let's go back to those enemies from last episode. See if we can take them on. Zax told us that the best, probably the easiest way is to get them into the river. Don't know how we're gonna do that, but let's try it. Yeah, maybe we can actually take our horse for a ride. Hi, goat. Uh, for when we go try to go to Kakoro Village. Hello. Uh -oh. What is this? Mushroom. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your movement speed. Nice. So I have an idea. Shrine nearby. Great. <laughs> so you know what? I have an idea. What if? They even have explosive bombs. They even have ex uh, explosive barrels there too. So what if? <laughs> what if I just explode them all? <laughs> Your shield's on fire, pal. Oh, they drown in the river. Ha! Got him! Go! Local club. Local bat. <laughs> Got him so good! Spiked Boko Shield. Let's get him to other Boko Shield. I don't really want to. Hello! Let's, work. Let's go get that shrine, but first... I think we earned ourselves a little bit of treasure. Uh, if I can walk to it, there you go. <laughs> we got a boomerang! And its unique shape allows it to return after being thrown. Let's get rid of... This book. Cool! We got a boomerang! Very cool. All right, I see a shrine. I would like to get the shrine. I'm gonna go over here. Boko spear, torch, flying spear. Let's get rid of this woodcutter's axe. Actually, while we're here, let's do some cooking. So, supposedly, we can make some, uh... Elixirs now. What if I do this? Dubious food. Okay, well, I think I think she said we needed like some something else for the elixir. So yeah. Okay, so we need to climb up this little cliff right here. Oh, we have what looks like an exploding location. We got a chest! Explodable location and a traveling spell. Let's go with this Boko Bow. We should start using our bows more often. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Don't worry. What is this? Hmm. Well. 
Pause fails. Explode it! And hello. Topaz! And rock salt! Whoa. Alright, let's climb this. We die shrine. Let's go. See? Sometimes sometimes it's nice to backtrack a bit. And for right now, it's not too big of a deal for backtracking, so I'm not really gonna edit or make it short yet. I'll probably tell you guys in advance when I'll do like a shorter episode. See how that goes. Timing is critical. Okay. Interesting. <coughs> hmm. What does this do? Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, come on. How's that? I was going to do it. Oh, well, it's okay. Okay, so. Yeah, some um, like time puzzles or something. So it's okay. It's not that bad. Pretty simple looking like. The treasure chest over there. What does this do? What? What? Wait, what? Oh! That's... Cool. Okay, but how do I get that treasure chest? I see some barrels? Can I climb on this thing? Hold on. No. I can't jump on it. Magnesis. Oh! Aha! Got it. Why was Bandana? Why speed up? Link with his bandana. <laughs> um, we should probably move to Barrow now. Or can we even wait? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this. Oh, thank God that ladder is right here. Oh my God, would have been so sad. It's like, wait, we're stuck here. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> there we go. Shine complete. God. That would have been so sad. It's like, yeah, you got the treasure. Go anywhere. <laughs> I'm just stuck here. Uh, Alright. We're done. <laughs>
Now we can fast travel back to the shine, to the stable. Good grief. <laughs> also, we can try to tame our horse a bit more as we travel to Kakuro Village. Hmm, pretty stormy. Um, travel to the shrine. So going in water, and if it's not too deep, like semi-deep, it's still gonna slow you down a bit. Now, let's get back our horse. Hi. Let's take the horse. Let's take coffee. Oh. Will just naturally follow the path as is. you ride on the road. Your horse will just naturally follow the path as is, as is, is as is its instinct. Travel by road if you want to leave the steering up to your steed and just enjoy the scenery. Hi, right, coffee. Let's go. So this should. So that's gonna take a bit to to uh, have it. You know, listen to us. So I kind of wanted to look, just have it be slow first. So yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit of training. Let's follow the road, cause yeah, it is a wild horse, so we do need to tame it a bit. Want to follow the road to Kakura Village. It is nighttime though, so I am a little worried about potential monsters. right here. Hmm. Not the greatest music, so I'm a little bit worried about potential monsters still. Oh, maybe we can just <laughs> speed past them. Oh, hello. We have some stuff over here. Come on. Stop here for now. What is this? Moonlight Shade. Cook with it to increase your stealth. Hmm. That might come in handy. And we got some Hyrule Herbs. And now that we have... <laughs> now that I know about the pots, the green pots, we could actually use these correctly. See a rock. Armor Ramp. Raise your defense when cooked into a gym. Yep. Let's get this rock salt. Anything else for me to collect? Do gold. Oh yeah, there's some more herbs over here. So let's collect that. Oh yeah, actually, let's call a horse using a button. Oh. Hey, horsey! Who 
it just just walks over to us. That's awesome. Hi, coffee. How are you doing? Let's go. Oh wait, I see some more stuff over here. Hey. Hold on. Wait. An armament, iron shroom. Is there anything? You gonna say anything else? Hello. Hi. Good. Ah. Bye. Calvin horns, tree branch. <laughs> All right, we're good. Uh, some keys. Ha! I baited him. Lol. Well, got him. So good. All right. <laughs> Let's go, coffee. Oh, hello. Boot, but bucket. I don't know how to say that name. Climbing cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wait out the rain on those days. I'm selling a few things I picked up on my, in my travels. Don't doesn't cost. Oh. Anagenic rhino beetle, 150. Fish, st stamina shroom, bright eye crab. Ooh. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 calm down. I'm sorry, hold on. I actually want to talk to him. Let me, I want to buy that beetle. Because a 150 rupee beetle must be worth... Must be... There has to be a reason why it's worth so much. I saw some stuff. Well, I need... I need 20 more. Also 10 key swing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Save some of those gems for later, just in case. Alright, there you go. I feel like we might be needing that for later. Alright, let's keep going. Hello? Shalaka. Shalaka! Has to. You! You can see me? I can see you. I can't see you. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved mar maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them. So please. Please get my maracas back from them. Uh, I'll help you. It's on the way to so might as well. What are we facing? Right now, sleep. So, sleep strike! One down. Shoot. I was hoping they would not wake up, but that's not the case. Uh, da, 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 da. let's use the soldier. Ah, no, let's use the spike vocal club. Oh, that dude fell to his death. <laughs> and you did. Treasure. Okay. 
Got some boxes. Bam. Apples. Very nice. I'll have to cook some of these up. Okay. I wonder what's in here. It's Maracas. Alright. Let's go give it to him. It's about morning. Not entirely yet. seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. So we need to find some Korok seeds. Hmm. Well, that's gonna probably be a while before. Well, technically we could find... Wait. Let me check something really quick. Nope, I can't. Nope, I can't take this one. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna have to need to find some cork later on. We'll have to wait and see about that. Well, let's keep following this road. Hopefully we'll make it almost to Karkoro Village. Should be almost there. It's about 3 a.m. so it's almost morning. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Foka. Foka. You got nice pouch for carrying things, but you're carrying a lot of If you're just carrying a valent, you may have a chance to make a killing. Or it's valuable. It's just sitting here. Sam Mushroom. Cook it to release the stamina restoration properties. Ah, son of a gun. We got him. Everything's fine, lady. Don't worry about it. I got the situation under control. Just some nice looking ores here. I got an amber. Alright, let's keep going. There's a shrine nearby. I don't see a shrine though. Hmm. Oh. This looks like the gate. We made it. Hakura Village. Hakariko Village. Nana. Travel, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Let's see here. I saw you had to see me like that. Hey, traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Uh, well, you see, there was this weird lady talking in my ear. <laughs> ah. Yes, I see. That she can slay a symbol. It means you are the hero of the legend. <clears throat> oh, sorry. There are a few who know such legends anymore. <clears throat> Holy Sheikah, I've been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before else, I'm gonna assist me for Lady Input. Wish. Lady Input's house is below Lantern Farms. Just over there. Oh. Hey, case was a real honor to meet you. Huh, I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have.
Oh, well, let's check this out. We got Kakuro, Kakariko Village. FPS is dropping like crazy for some reason. Oof. You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? That would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Uh, but first, nice apples. <laughs> A man? Huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What's his name? L Lin. Um, well, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad for speaking. As for me, my name is Pa Pa Pi. It's Pa Pa Pi. Hey. Oh, my name is Pi. Phew, I got it out. I know I should have said that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandma's been waiting your return ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. I'm here! <laughs> so, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but... You remember me, don't you? She's all... <laughs> ah. What is the matter? You're looking at me as though I'm a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. I see. So you have lost your memory? Why am I trying to sound like a really old lady? <laughs> well, it matches not. In fact, they may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to, she wished to say to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are here, though, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. If you're ready, when you feel you're ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? <laughs> ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you, are as, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Or once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess.
With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago, in preparation, for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Feed the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who get in the feeder. The divine beasts of Varudania, controlled by Derry of Morons. The divine beasts of Armedo, controlled by Rivali of the Rita. The divine beasts of Aruta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast by Nobor, the horse, controlled by Urbata, Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon for the power of the divine beast to help you. <clears throat> you must infiltrate the divine beast stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you as your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hatendo Village might be able to help you. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatena Village. It's a small village, 
one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. You are Princess's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. So, we relearned the history of Hyrule. Um, uh, she has a... Oh, here? That Sheikah heirloom has been guarded by a tribe for generations and must request that you do not touch it. Be and for an extreme guest it is yourself. There are certain rules that must be respected. Aww. Okay. Well... Turn off various words. Well, before I end the episode, you wait. I'm gonna leave the horse here. This way? I'm trying to, let's see, there is a shrine around here. I'm just trying to remember where it was. Coco! Coco isn't. Isn't crying. It needs to be strong for mother. Mother is sleeping here. She's probably making friends in heaven. Mother thinks it's best not to tell her she's gone. But Coco knows. That's why Coco must be strong. Oh, There's a shrine over there. I don't want to go to that shrine. There should be another shrine close by. That's what I want to do before I end the episode. Next episode, we'll explore Kakariko Village. But for now, I want to find the shrine and then we can end the episode there. Yeah. I think it's up here. It's getting stronger. There's a Kuko here. Yes, there it is. Here we go. Talonegs Shrine. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the shrine, we'll do that also next episode. So we made it here to Kakariko Village! Damn the horse! <laughs> and have we learned again the history of Hyrule. So, next episode, we're gonna explore Kakariko Village a bit. We have a little bunch to do. So, if we have locked mementos, we got two new quests. Lock mementos and feed the divine beasts. Lock mementos. According, according to Impa, the Sheikah slate that Zelda left to guide you is incomplete. The director at the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab in the Hateno and our village! <sighs> they know a way to restore the Chica State's missing components. You still have to find a location in this director. We also have Feed the Divine Beasts. The Gorons, Rito, Zora, and Gerudo. Four separate locations, so we have a bit to do. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, if you did, hit the like button down below, and of course, if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. We have a lot to do starting next episode. It's gonna be pretty fun. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.